Hello, hello, hello. Please hit that subscribe, that thumbs up, ring the bell, share this video out, please. I want to say this video is not political. I am not trying to sway anybody to one side or the other. I personally have no allegiance to either side. I like them equal. I, I think they're all dirty when they get to a certain level. That's my personal opinion. Let me state that up front. My personal opinion is that I want to send my heartfelt sympathies and condolences out to those that lost their lives on the 13th, especially Mr. Corey, the firefighter, and anyone else that was harmed that day that are innocent victims in all this, period. Now, I gotta get right into the meat of things. The lady in the black hat behind Mr. Trump's left shoulder with the glasses who have been speaking about since this incident allegedly is an FBI agent. One of many that were allegedly in the crowd that day is mine. Several other things that I need to get out. A lot of people uh, also, uh, um, it's my understanding and through research that the $15 donation to the Democratic Act Fund, whatever, was not the 20 gentleman. I use that term very loosely. Unaliver. It was a 53-year-old with the same name in a different state. That is fact. Also, um, allegedly, the FBI should be coming out, allegedly, according to my sources, and letting us know that this 20-year-old unaliver, attempting at a liver, had more than one encrypted overseas bank account. Allegedly. Also, the five-foot ladder that he purchased in Home Depot allegedly was still in the vehicle when they found it after the incident occurred. The letter we saw and that there's picture through, as I understand, bystanders was already there. He didn't carry. Um, also, as I understand from an audio and that I am going to be posting portions of in my next video with a former service agent that was on the 2016 detail protocol for the snipers is until they are shot at or they're fired at someone they have to radio and get permission to shoot they followed protocol and their safety list check day Allegedly, I keep saying allegedly because on this I don't have proof other than the statements made by this gentleman. Um, and that's why they never shot. Also, allegedly, uh, agents that we saw that appeared to all be Secret Service agents, alleged were not. Homeland Security is now urged to the Secret Service. And some of those individuals were extra security that was requested, allegedly, by the Trump campaign for this specific rally. And allegedly, they're short-staffed due to budget cuts, not just recent, but over the past 15 plus years. And the fact that it's presidential candidates and their families current president and their families and past presidents and their families our secret service protects and with budget cuts salaries haven't gone up and people aren't like jumping at the beat to make regular you know homeland security I guess is how you would put it to be knowing that 
they have to put their life on the line if the time should come, should leave, in my opinion, from my source. Also, the um, one, there is a side-by-side -side steel that should be appearing in some video um, with the picture we've all seen with the short glasses, and then there's a side profile picture with long hair and glasses, blue, I think, sweatshirt. That is different people. The gentleman in the blue sweatshirt and the profile is the video in the car saying you have the wrong guy. They troll, a fake, however you want to put it, and these are allegedly aware. Now, there's also been allegations since it came out that this gentleman, the unaliver, attempted unaliver, was in the Black Rock video that has now been removed from the... Allegedly, uh, that building that that gentleman crawled on and was on top of, allegations that Black Rock is the of the building. I can, based on public record documents, that that's exactly true. Approximately three months ago, a company named Enron is AGI who owned the building in the company. Under the umbrella of Enron is AGI, and under that is a couple of corporations. Law with documents that are public record, especially with the securities, uh, uh, I forget way, with the SEC, they filed documents. Long story short, I will be screenshotting and including in the video and on my these documents when the entire way that record research can be done and you can buy saw. Uh, around three months ago, when the purchase I buy in run occurred, does a loan. BlackRock has multiple societies. They have banks, everything underneath their umbrella. Whatever fund file is approximately $15 million loan was given to what looks like a G under Enron's umbrella by Rock Fund 5. So that people are saying that BlackRock that building. But from what I can tell, a company called AGI International, now by Enron, it with an I, Enron, is actually who owns the bank. Black just gave someone in that um a loan that's due to off by 2029, a rhyme of acquisition. In my opinion, by looking at the records, that's why I'll them and let other people. Also in this video clip of the Unaliver being kind of asked slash bully my opinion by some class furthermore I have more information trying to go live later to put it out there I'm just nervous and scared a lot of money and a lot of people out there about this. but I think it's not right I don't agree with it and if I don't Maybe other people will speak out, and I can stand tall for each other. Now is a time for unities to come together as a country and as a civilization and a human people, and unite on the fact that no matter what, no one be in fear of losing life over political beliefs. This thing, and I, I just speak to unity. We need to all come as one and say we're not going to do we're not going to allow I um, will say this I've spoken to someone who was in special training and long time service and someone who the United States prison system is well trained expert sniper and I got this information from they don't believe they aged Trump would have had to have had a wish because there's no way with wind, distance, even with an extra shot in the in the world, ugh, the pew pew in the world, that um, you see an ear shot close.
to the temple. In allegedly. My heart and my best wishes to all of those there on the 13th of July. And all I can say is, please, please, please stop the fun and that, and that anger and the arguing with one another. And other. I'll say that we as a nation, we as a people, will not tolerate having to live where we're not sure if tomorrow's coming. Our biggest goal. And know our country that we're not going to, it's 1940, 1950, 1990, that we are not tolerating deception, fouls. 11 came out. From the government alleged to the survivors and surviving families should be a lesson to us. We demand explanation, demanding to lose their jobs. Thing it doesn't happen again. This isn't. A, it's supposed to be the home of the free. We're supposed to go out, and we're gonna be okay, and we're gonna make safely. Not free. About going to a rally, being unalive, peace, love, and light. See y'all tonight.